Hey everyone, Chris Hall here with Basher Films in Pasadena, California, welcoming you to another episode of Anatomy of a Grade. Today we're going to take a look at shot matching. This is a shot from a feature film entitled Chittagong that is yet to be released. The filmmakers were gracious enough to let me use it for this little piece. Basically, uh, we have a case here of pickup shots not matching the original shots in a scene. You can see this shot here does not match the two shots on either side of it. This was shot after the fact by a different crew, um, and the lighting doesn't match the original footage. So what do we need to do to make this match? Well, we need to make this look like this. And this is another example of digital relighting. We basically need to paint this actor's face quite a bit to get the lighting to match the lighting in the previous few shots. So let's dive in and see what we can do here. The first thing I'm going to do is a standard primary color correction, and I'm going to lower the mids and lower the blacks just a little bit, and maybe bring down the highlights a touch and add a bit of blue into the frame. Once I've done that, I get a first color correction that looks like this. And now we're going to go into some of the digital repainting. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with his hair. You can see in the previous shot that his hair has a cooler kind of bluish light on it. So I'm just going to put a little circular power window around that. And I'm going to track that throughout the frame and add a little bit of blue to the highlights in that. And when I'm done, I get a little blue pop of light on the top of his head. So the second step is kind of the most drastic step here. We need to take away light from the right side of his face. You can see in the previous shot, on the right side of his face, camera right side, there's a lot less fill light and there's a lot more contrast from the highlight side on the left to the shadow side on the right. So I'm going to build a power window here using a curve tool and I'm going to shape it around his face. I've got it already drawn here and you can see it's basically following the lines of his face up and around his ear and down to the right. I'm going to track that throughout the shot. And then I'm going to pull down the highlights on that side of the frame. And when I do that, I get this. You can see there's a lot more contrast from left to right across the frame. And this is going to make shot matching a lot easier. So the next thing we need to do is create a patch of light right below his eye on the camera right side of frame. You can see in the previous shot, there's a little speck, a little triangle of light right there. So I'm going to just make that with a shape here, a custom shape again. And then I'm going to bump the highlights up on that. I'm going to raise them. And when I track that throughout the frame, I get something that looks like this. Now we're really starting to resemble the light in the previous shot. So we have two more steps left in this grading process. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw one last power window on his forehead to kind of bring down the light on his forehead a little bit. And you can see in the previous shot, there's a lot less light up there. And I'm just going to use a circular power window, track that throughout the shot. And now we have a little bit better match uh, to the previous lighting. The final thing I'm going to do in this grade is actually use a linear power window and power window down the left side of the frame. I'm actually just going to lower the highlights on that, soften that window quite a bit. You can see I've drawn it here. It's very soft from left to right, so it kind of fades into his face. And when I do that, I get a much better approximation of the darkness behind him that we can see in the previous shot. So this is the final grade. I'll play you the original shot. And here's the final shot. And here it is in context uh, with the shots on either side of it. You can see we've got a much better match continuity-wise for lighting. Now, I want to emphasize this isn't perfect, but our job is not to make it perfect. It's to make it believable and to match color and contrast from shot to shot. And in less than five minutes, we've completely changed the shot and really made it a believable close-up in the scene. So that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to check out other episodes at basherfilms.blogspot.com. And happy color grading. We'll see you next time.